one and two. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this session. Uh, I'm Grace Ronke Adegoke, and today I'm talking about Nigerian food, what we eat, how we eat, is anything wrong with what we eat, and are we deficient in anything, micro or macro, and how to go about it. So I'm hoping to quickly uh, enumerate things we're going to talk about today within the seven minutes uh, allocation time that I have. So the, the first thing is, there's a lot of confusion out there. So overwhelming, even sometimes, when you think of all kinds of information about food and nutrition, there's a diet here today, yo-yo, up and down, the polio, vegetarian, low carb, keto, no carbs, you know. So when you think of all of this, you're confused, right? Or am I the only one? Okay, so the question is, what is truly healthy, you ask? Okay, so the bottom line is, your body needs about 40 nutrients on daily basis. It's like a house, 24-7 all these nutrients are being used and uh, cells changing and things building up and breaking down within the system. So therefore, you need to put these nutrients in. So we break this nutrient down into two, macro and micro, big and small. So the big uh, uh, nutrient that we can see, they are the carbohydrates, the protein, the fats and oil, and the, the, the micronutrient, we, we get them from the likes of our vegetables and fruits and things like that. So these are trace elements. You know, basically, you can't really see them with your naked eyes. Uh, as I said, they are very, very small. That's why they are micro. And they, they play vital roles, you know, in how the body functions. They are nutrients dense. They, they, they are derived from nutrients dense food that we eat. So, such micronutrients, they are your vitamins, okay? Your A, B, C, D, E, K. So, just let's call them ADEC. And B and C, okay, vitamins. And also, you have your other nutrients your selenium, your sodium, iron, copper, zinc, fluoride, magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, selenium. Did I mention selenium before? Anyway, I measure it again. So, and because our bodies are not able to produce these uh, minerals and vitamins, we need them from somewhere. Now, if you look into the century we're in, a lot of things have changed. Even the way uh, agriculture is done, farming, there is so many depletion in the land. You know, as crop rotation. So if agriculture is done properly, hopefully, yeah, the minerals which is expected to be in a particular vegetable, for instance, will still be there if it's not sapped. If the, if the, if the ground where it's grown has not been totally wiped before growth. So that's number one. So many people, about 75% of Western population do not consume enough micronutrients. So, I mean, on daily basis. So how are we going to tackle this? What are we going to do about it? Basically, you make conscious effort to eat diverse food, variety of different food, do research and see where is your nutrient coming from and which is which. And also, the main thing is to know what your body needs. Because everybody needs different things. If, if you are a sportsman, you need exercise, a lot of sweating, you need magnesium. And also, if you eat magnesium, if you eat calcium, you need phosphorus. If you eat uh, calcium, you need vitamin D. All of this interlink to, for proper absorption of one or the other. And we know already in, in the media about vitamin D as uh, being deficient. So many people need vitamin D. In fact, the uh, Public Health England recommends that everybody from the age of five and above needs vitamin D supplement. Whether you're black or white, it doesn't matter what your skin color is. You're indoor, you don't go out, you're, suits, you're, you're in suits and boots <laughs> because the places where uh, sun needs to eat, you know, you are not exposing yourself to the sun. So you need vitamin D. And that's just one of your uh, micronutrients that has been identified within the black community. So another thing that I noticed in my research is the type of food we eat. 
they are good food but you know when you prepare your food it changes some, some things in in your food but the main thing is you know when you swallow something it goes straight down however when you chew something your digestion start from your from your mouth your salivary glands secrete uh an enzyme uh, amylase which start the digestion of your your, your carbohydrates but when you swallow it, it doesn't get digested. So by the time you get to the stomach, because of your hydrochloric acid, it suppresses all the action of your digestion, uh, digestive enzymes. And then, therefore, your food just goes through you without you getting the benefit of digestion and absorption and the benefit into your system. So that's another issue that I observe. And so, therefore, you start chewing your swallow. <laughs> so they're no longer swallow, they're chewable swallows. Anyway, that's just a joke, but the, the, the truth is in there. Another thing I noticed is the gut health. The gut health, that's something that we need to work on, you know. So gut health has been implicated that they are essential for the homeostasis, the balance of your bodily function. You know, from your immunity to all of these chronic diseases that are very rampant in our community, heart disease, diabetes, IBS, obesity, and also genetics and environmental factor are equally important. And psychological stress also affect what flora is in your uh, system. So therefore, uh, my friends, your immune system start from your gut. 60% of your immune system start from your gut. And immune system has been implicated also in so many of these chronic diseases. And this could explain, this could be a reason why we have certain diseases within our community. Anyway, um, I'm not able to uh, say anymore because uh, we, we are limited. So um, basically, try different food, sort your gut out, Cut down on calories. If you don't need it, don't eat it. And perhaps you need to supplement for your nutrients. If you want to know more, go and watch my videos on YouTube. And I've got an in-depth video online that you can see more from. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of the program. God bless you.